Losing your tongue, unraveling the mystery of a common English phrase. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, losing one's tongue. This idiom might sound strange at first, but it's quite common in everyday English. So, let's dive into what it means and how you can use it in your conversations. The phrase, losing one's tongue, doesn't literally mean that someone has lost their tongue. Instead, it's an idiom used to describe a situation where someone is unable to speak or finds themselves at a loss for words. This might happen due to surprise, nervousness, or even awe. For example, if someone is shocked by unexpected news, they might lose their tongue and be momentarily speechless. Understanding the origins of idioms can often help in remembering them. The phrase, losing one's tongue, likely comes from the physical sensation of being so surprised or nervous that one's tongue seems immobilized. This sensation metaphorically translates to being unable to speak or articulate thoughts. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase is used in everyday conversations. 1. At a party. When I saw the celebrity at the party, I completely lost my tongue and couldn't say hello. 2. During a presentation, he usually speaks so well, but he lost his tongue during the crucial presentation. 3. In a conversation, I had so many questions, but when I met her, I just lost my tongue. These examples show how the phrase can be applied in various social situations. There are several other expressions in English that convey a similar meaning. Knowing these can enrich your vocabulary. Tongue-tied, unable to speak easily or effectively. At a loss for words. So surprised, shocked, or confused that one cannot think what to say. Speechless, unable to speak because of anger, surprise, or shock. And that's a wrap on losing one's tongue. We hope this video has helped you understand and use this interesting English idiom. Remember, language learning is all about practice. So try using losing one's tongue in your conversations. Until our next video, keep practicing and don't lose your tongue when you need it the most. Bye for now.